Indianapolis was recently ranked last out of 100 cities when it comes to the quality of the public transportation system. The Wallet, Head study, Wallet Hub study was released this week and took place between 2017 and this year, so before the red line launched on September 1st. According to the study, less than 2% of commuters use public transit in Indianapolis. A number of Indigo hopes a number Indigo hopes to increase with the red line. Indigo says about 50,000 people live along the red line and about 50, 150,000 jobs are located along the route. Here's a look at how some other cities fared in the study. The top two cities were Seattle and Boston, which both got high marks for accessibility and convenience. Fort Wayne, Indiana was ranked ahead of the Indianapolis area in the study, partially because of its safety and reliability rating. And Columbus, Ohio, a similar sized city to Indy, was ranked about 40 spots higher on the list. An Indigo spokesperson has responded to the study, encouraging the discussion on transit to focus on how Indy has grown instead of how it compares to other cities. She also said, quote, Marion County is a huge county. It dwarfs other municipalities, yet we are still tasked with providing reliable transit service for a relatively spread out community, making the job more difficult and measurement of percent of people who drive versus percent of people who use transit difficult or inaccurate to compare equally with other metros. If you still have questions about Indigo's red line as a driver or a rider, we can help. Just go to our website, theindychannel.com and watch our special Inside the Red Line.